All right, here's the Chinese diesel heater install. Had the camera going, took a couple nights messing around out here, but I had the wrong back on it, so I didn't really get any good sound. I have a couple clips of what I did here. I just cut two and a half inch, two, two and a half inch holes under there and fit the mounting plate, exhaust and air intake underneath the trailer in between the frame rails. stuff left over it's a little bit bigger diameter than the stuff that came with the kit so I'm gonna use it for going through the floor there I'm just gonna slip it on I was thinking about using it here and here also I'm not sure if that'll wear through it all or not I gotta get that mounted somehow but I'm gonna need something to go through that hole there connect to the underside fuel intake on the heater that out in a little bit. I got some of this fire block sealant for around the plate there. And probably to smear on the exposed board where I cut through.
and then uh, I mounted the fuel pump back there on the wall behind the spare tire. Ran a fuel line up here. Hopefully, I can just fill from the diesel pump right here. And yeah, it's kicking out some good heat. Oh, I got an AGM battery from Fleet Farm. It's supposed to be good. Uh, you're only supposed to run them down to 50% or something like that and then get them charged up again, but it's a 92 amp hour battery. I figure I should be able to run it for at least anywhere from like 10 to 15 hours. A couple videos I saw, they were pulling three amps on high. I've ran this a couple times now, always on high because the trailer's not insulated yet. I plan on getting some pink board insulation, at least in the ceiling. There's snow on the roof right now, and that really helps actually, too. But yeah, there it is. Spaced it away from the wall a little bit. So don't have any issues getting the cap off. I'm going to... I got a NOCO Genius 10 battery charger that goes here. I gotta get, get the right ends. But I'm going to figure out where to strap this battery down. Got one of these deals on the lid. I'm thinking about maybe angling it sideways so that there's a little room there for something. In the end, I think there will be a shelf over both the battery and the heater. And maybe just cut out around the spare tire so you can pull that off of there. Kicking out some heat. It's already warming up. Yeah, let's just strap this in. Either straight back in there. Or... Yeah, maybe just right there. Super hot. Here's the new 5K. Chinese diesel heater. Fuel pump is back there. It goes down through the floor, up into the bottom of the heater. This little twirly vent. It's mounted to a board here. 12 volt AGM battery with cutoff switch on the negative line from the heater so I can turn off that controller works good got the diesel tank mounted by the door so I can fill it at the pump filter down there behind the tire 